shed cleaning music. Here we go. 89.8. Different. She shed shenanigans. Um, it's been a while. It's a little musty in here. I, get, I do have a candle lit with a um, this lighter I got in one of the shops in Seabrook. It's a lighter. I got a little video. Okay, so this is the new annoying thing. It's really not new, but everything. Like you want to change the batteries? Oh, you need a Phillips head, a teeny one, real teeny, and then you're gonna lose the thing. It takes 20 million hours to even get the batteries, and then you just give up. You're like, I, I don't even need the thing. Never mind. <laughs> well, I took a bunch of products tonight, um, but I'm gonna start with one thing. I'm not. I'm not gonna be political here. My Facebook is much different from from She Shed Shenanigans. I want people to watch She Shed Shenanigans and, and enjoy it, not. Be like, oh God, what you gonna say now? Ugh. So, but the one thing that I'm gonna say is, go like going places. Going to most places is so it's awkward. Awkward. Like, you know, awkward. Places, they're like they look at you like, why do you have a mask? Like no one's got masks on. You're like this. I won't say, but um. And then you walk in the next place and you gotta wear one. It's just it's awkward. It's people, you don't know how people, the people think around you. I wish that we could live, I mean, I know this is horrible, we're supposed to be able to live together, but I wish we could live in groups. Like group A, you don't care about six feet or masks, stay there. You live here if you want a mask and you need to be 12 feet away. You know what I mean? Like it would just be so much easier. Um, but I don't know, so that's it for that. Um, I'm on vacation now, so I'm on vacation from reality. Um, I haven't watched the news anyways. But I am going to try and keep calm on Facebook. <laughs> We're going camping, so um, we'll see. But all right, so we have a couple of products here. Um, so you saw the lighter, the fishing pole lighter. It's all right. I mean, it's, it's wicked difficult to do that. Who knows how much fluid's in here. It's kind of just a, you know, little like showboaty thing. All right, so the next thing we have, I have a video for um, that my assistant helped me with and it's the um, waterproof phone bag. They're called, um, all right, we're doing a new product here. It's called uh, F Color Waterproof Cases. They're right here, pretty cool for phones. $12.99 on Amazon for four cases uh, in this box. We did a little test um, with a pen under this under the sink and it, uh, it worked. So we're gonna try our phones in our pool that is pretty dirty because we've had the cover off. All right, uh, we're going to check it here. All right, Jackson's going to demonstrate how we do it here. Okay, so you know, we open it up. Phone's in the bag. All right, so we open it up, put it in. Try to go in. And he's going to show us how we lock it. Those two things there. Show us those two things. Yep, so those go down, those locks. Perfect. All right, let's test it out. First. And his isn't waterproof. So... Okay, I did it. All right, let's uh, want to open it up and see if it got wet. Did you put the whole thing under? Let me do it one more. Yeah, do another really good one there. There you go. All, All right. right. Let's see what was wet. You're crazy. That's a towel. All right, you... test it out. Okay, so my assistant left. Um, so we had the case. We put it in the pool. So we're gonna unlock these. You put one up. Up. I mean, they're not. It's you know, twelve ninety nine for four cases. They're not like you know, unbreakable, but open it up, back up, and we have a dry phone. Perfect for boaters, lakes, beach, and it has a little strap, like my orange one, it has a strap you can put around your neck. I love it, I love it. All right, so here we go, um, F color. All right, that was my assistant, and so it did end up working. We are gonna try this weekend, I think, um, putting our phones in and going underwater and videotaping underwater. So, pretty good. Um, I'm sure if you, we'll see how the swimming part goes, but okay. 
Um, next thing I got for camping is I'm always like, oh, when I ever, whenever I see other campers, I'm like, why didn't I bring that? Why did I bring? Why did I get that clothesline? I always am just like, I wish I had clothesline. Put towels up, um, mostly towels, bathing suits, all that stuff. So this cool bungee, like when I got on Amazon, um, I think it was like maybe seven bucks. Okay, so it clips here. You can clip it to a tree or, I don't know, I'm sure this, I got the clips because sometimes you're not near a bunch of trees so you can't tie it, but pretty long. I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, good camping tool. I won't feel like, oh shoot, like I need 20 towels. All right, um, oh, this was one of the water bags. Okay, this next thing is, um, I'm gonna try out, like I'll video all these things. Um, this is the hanging toiletry bag which my mother said she got one like 20 years ago and she's never used it. <laughs> I was gonna get her one, I'm like, oh good. So here we go, unzips, put your phone in there, in the tent. When you're like in the middle of the night, you're looking for stuff, it's like, oh it's dark. The bungee yeah. laundry line does this fit like in the toiletry bag, right FYI. Um, weapon to, for protection. Um, jewelry money. I mean, it's always my favorite, and I feel like I have to buy new ones every year. <laughs> this headlamps. I love headlamps. That's not great. It doesn't fit great, but here we go. You know what I mean? These things are awesome. I mean, they just are so fun camping, especially when some when you're talking to someone and you're like, "Would you what? Would you say?" <laughs> I can't even see. But um, so. Heroes.